my YouTube channel. My name's Rebecca and I'm a street style London fashion photographer. We are in Notting Hill today and I'm going to show you guys some top tips I use to pose friends who are not models. You don't all have access to models straight away and I always was shooting, shooting, shooting and shooting as many people as I can. So I used to use my friends a lot. So I've got some good tips and I thought I'd share them with you guys today. Please wait to the end of the video. I've also got a photo contest for you guys to enter. So keep watching to see what it's about. I'm Sid and I work for a fashion brand. I did the social media for them. I actually met Rebecca That's on the That's how job. we met. Yeah. I mean, we such good friends. <laughs> so my first tip is actually going to be maybe to get them warmed up is shoot on the iPhone. It's a bit less intimidating and I feel like it just makes everyone feel a bit more comfortable. So I want to shoot on the iPhone first. That's such a good idea. Oh, Very busy today. Very I'm now going to shoot some on my actual camera. So here I'm using a bit of backlit. We've got some lovely white roses. And for this tip, I don't mean everyone knows what to do with their hands. So I always want to say, like, instead of being like limbed like this, it's create shape, like even just like move around and create movements. And I'm just going to shoot on a fast shutter on continuous, so I get all them kind of candid movements because it just makes gives them something to actually do instead of just like standing there like, what do I do? And I'll show you two examples. Up with it girl, rock with it girl, show them it girl, with a bang bang, bounce with it girl, dance with it girl, get with it girl, with a bang bang. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. Another thing to think about as well, want your subject to look tall or skinny. <laughs> I mean, everyone would like both. But if you shoot from this angle, you can see that Sid's head's actually quite big. So whatever's closest to the lens is, is slightly bigger. And then this actually makes Sid's body look slightly smaller. And if we shoot from a low angle, this makes Sid's legs look really long, um, which is also a very good, like an outfit detail. But yeah, so we're gonna play around with both. I do kind of like this shot because I feel like it's really candid. Back. We are back. See, shooting with friends is fun, eh? Yeah. Eh? Why are you New Zealand? Why are you New Shooting with friends is fun, eh? <laughs> So, my next tip for you guys is gonna be props. Obviously, we don't really know what to do with our hands sometimes, and I feel like it just makes it more engaging, and it makes your friends just feel a bit more comfortable with something they know. So the props are going to be a bag, a bubbleology, sunglasses. It just gives you something to do with your hands, something to interact with, and just makes the subject just feel a bit more comfortable. I think, anyway. So, walk for me, Sid, please. And then put the glasses on and off. Yes, girl. <laughs> Uh, it just gives them something to do and then like swing the handbag. Yeah, so swing the handbag for me and walk that way. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to use this bubbleology cut and then Sid's going to pass it on to me. And then pass it back. And then pass to me. <laughs> and then pass it back. <laughs> guys it's going to be all about communication you can't expect a model to know what they're doing if they're not used to being in front of the camera so 100% you need to be communicating I do become a bit of a cheerleader and I'm going to show you an example of how I speak it's very strange I become a different person don't I it's nice though you're <laughs> like just, yes <laughs> yes but it's it to make them feel like they're getting the shot and giving them a bit of confidence <laughs> to yeah get the shot we found this green wall, which is found in Nottingham. It's a famous green wall. Yes. Oh my god, I just like this one. It's a green wall. It just feels so well on the grass. Basically, I make up I just think it's funny, it makes, you get like actual laughter. Yeah, she Basically. becomes American. Yeah, why? I don't know. Yes, Sid, give it to me. Give me the movements. Yes. Slaying, slaying. <laughs> <laughs> 
So guys, my next tip, it's gonna be always look for inspiration on Pinterest or Instagram. So I'm gonna show Sid some Instagram shots of a zebra crossing to give her some inspo, give her a bit of confidence. <laughs> Another tip guys is also always show them like what you're taking so they can see if they want to change their hair or change something up so yeah always keep showing them what you're taking. So guys, me and Sid are done for the day, I'm gonna go and grab some food. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I also have something really exciting to announce to you guys about a new photo contest using this new amazing platform called Shout Out. Shout Out gives you the opportunity to send in images, like a photo competition, and see like where your image does well, like in a ranking. And community and people like me and yourself can go on there and vote for all these different photos. There's different categories as well, which I find really interesting. I actually find a bit of a challenge, because you can look at a category and be like, I really want to enter that but I don't have a photo like that so you go out and take that photo so I feel like that's really cool the best thing about shout out is that everyone can get involved it's free to enter but you just can't win the money if you want to win the money you have to pay two dollars to enter and then you get entered into the competition and then every time that someone else enters that money just gets bigger and bigger and bigger so you can win some big cash with this which I find so exciting because of the ranking on shout out you get to see how well your images do and perform against other images in the same sort of genre that you're taking images of so the most exciting part of this video is I'm actually gonna be holding my own competition I want you guys to send me all of your lifestyle images this could be candid shops in a coffee shop it could be street style Any any sort of life art images that you guys have got I want to see them so guys if you use my link below and you do decide to go for a premium entry of two dollars you'll get another bonus of another two dollars to enter another competition so please use it I can't wait to see what you guys create and I will be voting and checking it all out